Welcome back to the Dark Souls 2 boss battles. This time we're taking on the Executioner's Chariot. Now, this boss, it took me a fair few goes. Um, funnily enough, it wasn't for the boss itself. Um, this is one of the more interesting boss battles um, where it kind of has two completely different phases. One where the chariot's going around the arena and you're trying to fend off these skeletons on the way which happen to be continuously resurrected by the necromancers uh, two of which are lit around the arena um, you have to continuously pull yourself into the alcove to avoid the chariot as it's coming around the way uh, it does major damage and it's, it's kind of difficult to, to fight off these these skeletons at the same time as keeping an eye on the chariot. Um, the main reason why I died a lot on this on this boss wasn't the boss itself. It actually wasn't. That you can see these uh, guys resurrecting there. Uh, the reason why this boss was difficult wasn't because of the boss itself. It was the the skeletons. They they're just ridiculously persistent in following you and all it takes is for the two or three of them to surround you and they completely wreck your health. Now I've taken out the second necromancer here so it's just a matter of time before these guys get taken out. Um, the chariot kind of helps you there and I'm just taking it. Oh, that one just stabbed me through the back. God knows how he managed it. Now it's just, it's just this one last guy. There we go. We've taken him picking up those items usually nothing useful and then there's a gate coming up now this gate if you drop it down it stops the chariot in its tracks and the interesting thing about this boss is even though it's called executioner's chariot it's actually the horse that you face as the boss so I'm waiting for him to come around one more time just to make it safe and then I'm going to go run round, pull the lever, drop down the gate, hide back in the alcove. And wait for this bad boy to fall to the ground. At this point, you can get a few cheap hits on him. A quarter of his health is gone. And I found that with this boss, he's, he's not difficult at all. If you stay around the side of his body... There's practically nothing he can do to you, especially in this small space. There's nowhere really for him to back up, um, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He's at the mercy of my sword. He's getting taken out. Look at him. Oh, he's useless. He's a piece of trash. Just getting taken out. Oh, look at his health. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, dear. No, you didn't get me there. Taking him out. Oh, look at him. He's finished. What a disappointing end to such a big lead up. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Rate, comment and subscribe y'all.